In the current emergent climate of Kenya, Mike Moshiri has become a pivotal figure. A passionate digital content creator decided to translate Kenya's controversial finance bill into local languages. His initiative was aimed at making sure all Kenyans could understand what is in the bill and how it would affect them. So seeing that there is a gap, there is a political, there is a gap that is the political ignorance, I saw it fit to not only break the finance bill in English, but also break it down in Kikuyu. But then when I broke it down in Kikuyu, some guys on social media started suggesting, let's do, let's also translate this finance bill into different languages so that every youth in every corner of Kenya, and not just the youth, but every Kenyan, can really understand when we mean that when we say that the finance bill contains punitive taxes. This newfound understanding fueled nationwide protest where people united in a call for a fairer society. We're not only demanding a uh, scrapping of the policies that do not work for Kenyans and scrapping of the punitive taxes, we are also demanding for good governance. We are demanding for accountability. We are demanding for good justice. We are demanding for every government system to work the way it's supposed to work. Thousands took to the streets, united in their demand for transparency and fairness in economic policies. President it's William Ruto's response well. was swift. He withdrew the finance bill and reshuffled the cabinet, immediate. aiming to placate demonstrators and restore political stability. But critics argue that without meaningful concessions, the national dialogue won't be enough. We've had dialogues in the past. I mean, anyone who's in Kenya and is just a tiny bit conscious of what happened would tell you that these dialogues have happened and nothing drastic has come out as a result of it. The government is trying to be seen like it's doing something. It's also fixing the political issue. But um, the forum might not achieve much um, as far as the, 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 the grievances of the, the, the Gen Z and the, the people who are... Uh, criticizing the learning of the government. As Kenya navigates these pivotal moments, the calls for transparency serve as a reminder of the power of public knowledge in shaping the course of a nation. As anticipation grows, the commencement of the National Forum by President William Bruto is set to tackle pressing issues such as unemployment and corruption with high outcomes that may change the country's future. Anne Mashari, TRT World, Nairobi.